President William Ruto has arrived in Beijing to participate in the third Belt and Road Summit for International Cooperation in the Chinese capital. Well, the forum will see members of member states rather take stock of the economic gains over the last 10 years. Kenya is also seeking a review of loan terms and a further 150 billion shilling loan to complete stalled projects. And as Francis Mtelaki reports from Beijing, President Ruto is also looking at tapping Chinese technological advancement and innovation to unlock the digital economy. President William Ruto has begun his three-day state visit to the People's Republic of China. This being his first visit since being elected as president, Ruto is expected to attend the third Belt and Road Initiative Summit, a forum that focuses on cooperation and partnership between nations in matters infrastructural development. We are very happy that Kenya is among very few countries from around the world. In Africa, we are actually one of three, one of only three countries uh, that have been invited to the Belt and Road Initiative. And uh, an official visit by President William Ruto to China really sends a strong signal that we consider China to be an important partner, we consider China to be um, a key development cooperation uh, friend and partner. Some comment I got from the local clients and owners, they said if you sign a, sign a project with Chinese people, they can complete, let's say if the project is for three years, they can complete in two and a half years. Mm -hmm. This is not a joke, this is true. Yeah, so Chinese companies not only build this, this infrastructure by themselves, they also cooperate with multinational employees and together they have this one team, one goal culture and try to unite everyone together. Over 150 countries and 32 international organizations will participate in this year's summit that marks 10 years since its inception. Kenya will also be taking stock of the initiative that has seen the implementation of a number of development projects, including the SGR project, Nairobi Expressway, construction of the Lamu port and the container terminal 2 at the port of Mombasa. We only have 592, yeah. it's not yeah. long enough. Yeah. In future, if we extend it to Malabar, that's uh, around 900 something, and if we go to the Capra, it's uh, over 1,000, that will be more efficient. If we look at it under the picture of building a global community of shared future uh, for mankind, then it only sits, I think it only sits at the very beginning of this long and sustainable journey because looking ahead, we have a long way to go. And I believe this summit will set the tune for future and will also summarize what happened over the past 10 years, which is remarkable. In the bilateral talks, Kenya will be seeking for a review of the credit service terms for the existing loans and a top-up of 150 billion shilling loan to complete stalled road projects. Kenya is banking on China's technological advancement to grow the digital economy and create jobs for thousands of youths. Francis Mtlaki, Citizen TV, Beijing, China.